Welcome back to the channel. You know what this is, B.O.B. None but the best of the best, baby. If you guys are interested in money, business, and credit, you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna be talking about where do you get started building business credit? So if you're just getting into business credit, if you're just establishing your business, you don't have any business credit so far, well, where do you start? What are the first steps? Let's get it, baby. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I got tons of videos on what I do to build business credit and also what I'm doing with the credit. As you guys very well know, just got a McLaren 720S, love exotic cars, also investing into luxury time pieces and just other luxury items that I'm into. So make sure you guys subscribe. A lot of those videos will be coming up soon as well. I'll be doing maybe some reviews and stuff too, right? So stay tuned for that. So if you guys are just getting started building your business credit, there's a few basics that I feel that are really, really important that people overlook, all right? And these basics are the very, very beginning steps. For example, when I see business names, that is my pet peeve, ladies and gentlemen. Business names, make sure you guys choose a good name, all right, for your business. Don't put apostrophes or and symbols or any crazy characters in your business name. Please stop doing that. How are you gonna put that in on, on an application? The way that business credit is reported and built is by data, okay? So if you're putting in a business name that has a, a, a symbol or an apostrophe or some special character, it's gonna be very difficult to get that to, you know, the, the credit bureaus. No legitimate business has a dollar sign symbol on the, in, in their name. Stop doing it, okay? I mean, keep it sweet, keep it short, keep it sweet, keep it general, keep it broad. When we're talking about business credit, you don't necessarily have to have a name of a business that is, is so specific to even what you're doing, all right? I mean, some businesses are harder to get credit for than others. For example, I, I bet you guys didn't know, but the real estate business is a lot harder to get credit for than, for example, a consulting business, a warehouse business, a, a wholesale business, or a manufacturing type of a business. Those are considered more stable in the eyes of the credit bureaus and the eyes of creditors in general, okay? Everyone out here is f trying to flip a house watching Property Brothers, okay? It's not that easy. Crackheads come through and steal the, the copper and then you, what happened, right? So it's rough out here, all right? So choose a general name. Choose a, a decent name that is not specific, that people you know, are wondering what it is. Uh, you know, a consulting or a, a, a management or, or something else. You know, don't be so specific and don't use special characters, okay? And that's a major point. Number two, have the basics set up. Now, one of the huge basics is to have accounts, obviously, that are reporting to your business credit report. Now, if you're a new business, just getting started or also an established business and you want accounts that report high limits consistently to your credit report, they're in the link in the description below, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Now, business credit is getting harder to get. I suggest that you act on this ASAP, okay? And get these accounts while you can, all right? No one knows what can happen tomorrow, right? So if you have the ability Go down there in the link in the description below, click on that link, sign up for these accounts to the hottest reporting net 30 vendor accounts in the game. They report consistently high limits. You heard it here, okay? If things change, I will also let you guys know. Hey, it's not happening anymore. But for right now, it is, right? So make sure you guys take advantage of that, all right? Now, at the same time, when you're building business credit, think about actually building your business, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, have a good website, have a good email, have a domain. Don't use a Gmail address, please. Don't use a Yahoo. At least go and get a domain, at least go and get an email that's associated with your domain. It looks so much more professional, okay? Just put together a one-page website. You don't have to be all fancy. Oh, and by the way, if you want a website also, on credit, you can do that 
with these creditors in the link in the description below. They'll also make a website for you too. You can pay them after 30 days, all right? So make sure you guys check that out, all right? So have the basics in place. Have a bank account. Make sure you've registered your business properly, all right? Now, if you haven't registered your business, Inc. File is a great place to go, all right? That link is in the description below as well. So I've got a ton of resources down there for you guys, okay? If you're just getting started, bam, go to Inc. File, get registered. It's free if you use that link in the description, okay? Free, all you do is pay the state fee, whatever that is, but they'll register your business for free. Okay, and give you a registered agent service for free. So that's down there in the link in the description. Also, vendor accounts, they're down there. And the link to my free 15 minute consultation, that's down there as well. If you guys wanna talk, you, wanna, you want some help, some guidance doing it, you don't wanna feel like doing it on your own, bam, we've got a subscription, a membership to help you do that as well, okay? So get the basics taken care of. It's not that difficult, all right? Get the website, register your business, have a domain, have a decent phone number with an answering service to your business. Because in the beginning, vendors will call. They will call to see if that's actually your business. And if they get uh, you know, just a generic answering machine or if there's a bunch of kids hollering in the background, it doesn't look professional, okay? So take care of it, all right? Put a good greeting on there with your business name letting them know that they've actually reached a legitimate business. Have that social proof. So easy to do nowadays. A website, easy. You've got instant social proof, right? Okay, so make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I got tons more videos coming out, right? If you guys are into exotic cars, I'll be detailing my journey with my McLaren 720 and my other exotic cars that are coming. And you know I love luxury, you know I'm, a, you know, I might wear the Costco t-shirt, but I'm still luxurious, baby. You know how we roll, okay? So, you know, we're gonna, we gonna talk about some luxury stuff also in the near future. And all of these things I was able to obtain using these business credit hacks and building my business credit up, okay? So make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe. Let's get to 10,000. Leave, leave some comments in the comment section below if you guys wanna ask any questions. I'm always here, I always respond. Until the next time, Peace and love, baby.